So uh, welcome to our Focus and Clarity session here. I appreciate you coming on board uh, on it is Saturday morning where I am. I know it's Friday afternoon uh, where other people are in the world. You're probably all self-isolating right now, staying safe um, um, and uh, uh, making sure that uh, you're keeping healthy, which is uh, very, very important. However, we also need to do the same thing for our businesses. And we, the world is changing very rapidly right now. We are in two, we are dealing with two crises, not one crisis but we are dealing with two crises. The first crisis is our health crisis that we're dealing with, and that health crisis is having an impact on the way our governments are behaving and how we're changing and our world health organisations are uh, behaving and saying, hey, we've got to shut things down. And so now we're also now dealing with the fallout of a major economic crisis as well. Same impact was good to see you here, my friend. So we are dealing with two aspects that we're dealing with. Uh, what I want to talk about is some action steps for you in your messaging going out to the market. So one of the things I wanna to chat to you about today is what is your messaging and does that message fit where the market is so that you open the door to generating more client opportunities. Um, uh, I'm just gonna open up the chat so I can see the chat here. Uh, thanks Damien, appreciate that. So. Uh, so those two things, right? What's what, what's going on? We've got an economic thing happening. We're all in lockdown. Lots of businesses uh, have shut their doors. But funnily enough, there are a lot of businesses that are still open out there. In fact, I've been talking to a lot of my consulting champions in the clients that they're working with and bringing on board uh, at the moment. In fact, we've had two of our champions bring on clients at $100,000 to do email marketing for them to their existing customers and to uh, run campaigns to in, uh, encourage new customers to come into their business. Can you imagine $100,000 on email marketing? Who would have thunk? We have three clients, uh, three champions right now that have actually achieved that um, uh, uh, effort in the last three days. In the last three days, one of them has brought on two clients. They brought on a law, law firm and they brought on a financial planning uh, company. Uh, another one brought on an e-commerce business that is looking to dramatically expand and communicate with their customer base. Um, and we've had others bring on clients. We had somebody bring on four chiropractors uh, in the last uh, couple of days. Uh, we had, so we've got a few people actively generating clients in our group. In fact, not a few, we've actually got quite a few people in the champions group are actively bringing clients on board right now. I was talking to one of our agencies and they've, they've been inundated with phone inquiries, people coming out of the woodwork uh, saying, hey, you know, we spoke a while ago, you know, we're kind of stuck in this place of not knowing what to do. Can you help us out? So a lot of our agencies that we're working with are actually getting phone inquiries from people who they've spoken to in the past uh, um, coming out and saying, hey, what can we do? We need to do something. We need to stay in business. I was talking to Tina, one of our consulting champions. You know, she had a terrible day when when uh, when we shut down uh, here in Australia. Of course, a lot of businesses panicked. A lot of business went, "Hey, we need to cut our costs," and they you know decided to cut their marketing costs. And Tina, you know, unfortunately, uh, I think she lost about four or five clients who either paused or like like we just can't do anything. They're out right uh, in one day, and that was devastating to her. That was dev that was a really hard day. But three days later, on the Monday, all of a sudden, she's saying, "Hey, I've got I'm busier uh, than I've than I've been. We've got a a whole bunch of people that we're helping, a lot of phone call, we've got a few clients uh, that have decided to come on board. So literally within three days the turnaround uh, from panic to, hey, you know, there are people out there who need help. And let me tell you, there are businesses right now that are actively growing. Uh, there are um, businesses right now that are really, really busy in this time. Um, uh, and some unusual businesses or businesses you wouldn't think of that were busy um, in this time. Uh, so to give you perspective, uh, Miguel, good to see you. Howard, good to see you here. Um, uh, so just to give you a perspective on some of the people that are really busy right now, data cabling people, data cabling companies uh, right now, businesses are trying to make sure that they've got the right infrastructure to be able to cope with live streaming, to be able to cope with um, uh, streaming to their team, managing their teams remotely. So they're looking at communication, their electrical systems, they're looking at their data cabling, uh, that's going through the roof right now. Um, uh, uh, health equipment, fitness equipment going through the roof. I was talking, in fact, I was talking to one of my champions yesterday and said, yeah, we bought a Peloton. Like a Peloton's like, I think they're like two and a half, three thousand dollars to buy a Peloton uh, cycle. They bought a Peloton because they're going to be stuck in, at home for the next three or four weeks. Uh, so they thought, hey, this is a good time to get fit. There's a lot of people that are, ex that are buying fitness equipment right now, um, uh, thinking that they're going to get exercise in this time of, uh, of, uh, of crisis, right, of being at home. Um, so they're spending thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars on buying equipment in the marketplace. The fitness equipment market is going through the roof. Um, uh, 
uh, mini skips yesterday when I was talking to one of our consulting champions in the UK where he says, hey, yeah, I'm home. I'm talking to my wife and said, you know what? This is an opportunity to clean house. For the first time, we can get rid of all our rubbish and garbage and we can get clean. The ring a mini skip guy and the mini skip guy said, we're flat out. And the reason we're flat is everybody shut their doors. We're the only guys staying open in the market. And we want to, you know, we're going to, to our competitors, hiring skips from them so we can deliver the skips. And they're being, you know, Corona mindful. They're saying, hey, we don't need to have face-to-face contact. Uh, we, can, we can do this over the phone. Uh, we don't have to have physical contact. You just tell us exactly where you want us to place the bin. Uh, go and, you know, put a marker where you want us to place the bin. We'll come along, place the bin. You can watch from your, the safety of your door. Um, uh, we'll leave it there and then you fill it up. And then when you're ready, we'll come back and we'll pick that up and we don't have to have any physical contact. Um, and you can pay your bill online right now with this link. So they've adapted their business. They're going through the roof. They're buying mini skips. In fact, they've hired two drivers from their competitors to help them out to deliver all these new uh, customers that are uh, cleaning up their shop. Uh, electricians in the trade services, lots of people still in work. They're just having to work very differently. They're having to work remotely in terms of their communication and how they uh, engage their customers, but uh, they are still open. Uh, you know, businesses out there are still out there, right? So uh, I was going to prepare some fancy slides and, you know, I thought, you know what? We don't need fancy slides. Um, uh, I am going to be placing this recording in YouTube. I am going to be placing this recording in um, uh, in our Facebook, uh, the Consulting Unleashed Facebook group, um, uh, to, if you want to access it, and so you'll see it on the YouTube channel. So that, that, that they'll, so if you if you find myself scripting and helping you out here, uh, you'll be able to get that um, or access to that on on those two channels. So before I kind of continue on, um, uh, just so I know that you can actually hear me, um, can you just type one, uh, if you're safe and okay on your keyboard. Just type one, safe and okay, you can hear me. Brian, good to see you. Trent, Tim, Miguel, Damien, Jay, awesome. Lex, good to see you here, my friend. Um, uh, how awesome, thank you. Okay, good, so you can hear me and you're, you're safe. So um, what I wanna do is I wanna talk about messaging and I wanna talk about crafting your offer. Offers, um, uh, today. So uh, yesterday we talked about, you know, uh, where people are at, where they can be, what the different opportunities are. But I want to talk to um, uh, how people are offering in the market. And the reason why is that, we, remember, I don't know if you uh, uh, remember yesterday, I talked about this kind of concept of VUCA, V-U-C-A, uh, which is a military term. And what it means is, in, and it's the area that we're in right now, it's what we're experiencing right now. And if my friend Todd Herman put these acronyms together and I thought it was really brilliant and I thought I'd, I'd be sharing with people to kind of give them some complex, some understanding to the mess that we're in, right? So what VUCA stands for, V-U-C-A, is V stands for volatility. We are in a very volatile market right now, economically, right? Uh, U stands for uncertainty. Well, lots of uncertainty going right, right on right now. We have no idea what's happening. We don't know how we're going to get out of this. We, you know, we've got a lot of uh, misinformation. We've got a lot of dramatization. Uh, and we also have voices of reason in the marketplace. But we have a lot of uncertainty. Uh, the C in VUCA stands for uh, complexity, right? <laughs> complexity, gone through the roof, right? Lots of problems to solve, lots of new ways of thinking, lots of new ways of doing business, lots of pivoting in our marketplace in terms of what we're doing. So that's happening for us right now. Um, and last, and the A in VUCA, V-U-C-A, is ambiguity. So volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity is what's going on because we're, you know, we're, nothing's clear, right? Uh, uh, the, you know, there are certain things that are very real to us, and there are a lot of things that we are just not able to uh, process and comprehend at the moment. So lots of stress, lots of pressure, lots of things going on, right? So our motto or the theme that I'm uh, constantly saying is to be in business, stay in business and thrive. That's what we need to do. And your customers or businesses out there need to be thinking the same thing. We've got to be in business, stay in business and we have to thrive, right? So we're making three choices and there is only certain people that we can, uh, we can help. But there are two problems that we need to solve right now in the market, right? The first problem is, is what is the messaging that businesses are sending out to their current customers and helping their customers to stay and pay. That's the first thing that needs to be talked about. How are you helping your current customers to stay and pay? Number those those two things. Stay and pay, right? Existing clients you're going to let them make still in business. That you're still going to be able. To, you're going to be there to help them when people get back. Uh, that you that you're doing those things. So that's number one. Number two. What are you doing to let the rest of the market know that you're still in business as well? Right? What are you doing right now to let the rest of the market know that you're still in business? So those are the two things that most businesses 
need to focus on. However, right, however, just to give you a perspective, if we look to how big businesses are operating right now, big businesses strategically are doing everything following a strategic plan of what happens when you have economic disaster, right? They are reviewing their positions, they are removing their costs, they are looking at where they can expand or open their doors to opportunity. They are doing all those sorts of things. One of the things we did in Consulting Champions is we had a deck from Bain & Co. We went through McKinsey's business crisis strategy and it's really interesting that a key part of the, the strategy in crisis is how are we actually marketing the big companies, there's a lot of big companies still advertising right now. They're still promoting, they're still putting out there that, hey, we know that we're in a time of, of stuff going on, but we're still in business. We still can help you, right? And we're still out there helping you uh, uh, into the future. So the marketing aspect is talked a lot about in crisis management because it, it, it has two opportunities here. How can you generate revenue and cash flow now in terms of helping people? And the second part of this is how do you open the door to taking advantage of where the, the market is opening up a gap, right? Like the mini skip guy, his gap right now is all the other mini skip guys have decided to shut their doors, lay off their people and shut their doors. I'm staying open. I just need to let people know that I'm open, right? That I'm staying open. That's the thing that you, that people need to be mindful of right now. Right? So there's two sides, right? What we want to do is we need to create offers to our customers that are non douchebaggy. We can't have douchebag offers. Right, uh, because if because uh, if we've got douchebag offers, it's going to alienate us and it's going to cause a problem. Anything that you're doing on a of a predatory nature to take advantage of the current situation is going to be called out, and you're going to be you're literally going to ruin your branding and messaging. Right, so we and business owners need to be careful or mindful of the type of message that we're sending out there. Right, that's that's number one. Um, so we can't be douchebaggy. Right, we can't be douchebaggy. I've seen a lot of internet marketers right now be very douchebaggy right? Hey, you're sitting at home right now, buy my course, right? Uh, that was one, this was one of the most respected marketers that I know in the, in the, in the marketing space, in the marketing education space was being a douchebag. And he was being called out for being a douchebag on it in a big way. Like his feed in the Facebook ads, were just going nuts and people saying, mate, you know, you don't give a crap or you're giving a shit about is yourself. You don't care about us. You know, this is, this is, you know, we're not interested. You know, we don't need courses. We need help. You know, all this was going on in their feet. I'm not going to mention uh, names, but uh, you know, but they copped the shellacking and I think they actually stopped the ads uh, to promote their product. Right now they could have promoted the product in a different way because I think the campaign they were running was a campaign that they were going to run before the, the shit hit the fan. Right. So they didn't change their message. They thought, Hey, let's just send it out. It's a great offer. Right. But it was a douchebag offer. Right. So, so we've got to think about, and even businesses are going to think about um, uh, how they're helping people with the offers they're putting out. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the creativity and offers uh, just a moment. Right. We, people need acknowledgement and understanding right now. People need people that can empathize with where they're at right now. Remember I said the, 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 the VUCA, right? Volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity. That's going on right now for a lot of people, right? Uh, they're listening to the news every day. They're on their freaking social media. They're listening to families panicking. And they said there's this anxiety and stress and pressure going on right now. And at the same time, they've still got to run a business. They're still got to sit there and say, well, how am I going to stay in business? How am I going to be in business, right? So, so, um, so on the other side of that, the acronym is CALM, C-A-L-M, CALM, right? So on the other side, people need clarity. They need some clarity, and this is where you come in. Uh, they need some assurance. They need some assurance that they're moving forward, right? They need some, a little bit of certainty. They need leadership. Us as business owners, as communicators, as in the, in the market where we communicate to others to influence decision-making, we need to lead. We need to take leadership of our businesses as business owners themselves have to take leadership for their customers, right? They have to take leadership as well. Um, movement is the last one. So calm is clarity, assurance, leadership, and movement. And uh, Todd made this incredible, uh, well, a very uh, a valid point. Fear lives in stagnant water. Fear lives in stagnant water. If you do nothing, you will hurt, right? Right now, a lot of people are hurting, right? So um, 
uh, we need to acknowledge and understand. The question is, how can we help, right? Everybody needs some clear thinking right now. Everybody needs a simple, focused plan. What are we doing to make sure that our customers know we're open and they can buy their stuff right now and they can keep buying and stay and pay? What are we doing to help all the people we might have had some communication with or connection with, uh, past customers, uh, our lists, uh, our social media connections, all that sort of stuff? How, how can we let people know that we're in business and we're here to help? right without with what we're offering uh, as a service so our offer is, has to be relevant to the market um, uh, we want to start bring people uh, for discussion together in what we're doing right so remember right now remember uh, yesterday i talked about maslow's hierarchy of needs right um you know uh, personal uh, health and safety personal health is important security business employment money finances very important um, connection and belonging is the third rung on Maslow's hierarchy of, uh, of needs. Um, uh, people need that. They need to be connected. They need to belong. They need to have that connection because we need that. We crave to connect. We're human beings. We need to connect. The fourth rung on that is um, uh, self-esteem, right? And the last rung is, uh, is uh, actualization, right? Now, self-esteem and actualization are two things that we don't need right now right, in terms of Maslow's hierarchy. But we actually do need our personal safety and health. We do need security and we do need connection. But businesses are operating in the bottom two, right? They, right now, because they're not knowing how to connect or how to engage because they've never done this before. They've never worked remotely. They've never communicated, uh, over communicated with their customers. They've just kind of sat there left by the wayside. A lot of agency owners that I've seen, I saw, I spoke to an agency owner, not one of my clients, who came to me and said, John, what am I going to do to save my business? Because I just had 24 clients cancel on me. And I said, the reason you had 24 clients cancel on you is because you didn't speak to your customers. You never built a relationship with them. You just provided a service. They paid you every month and you didn't give a crap about as long as they paid you, that was where you were okay. If anybody arced up, that's where you responded. But you never helped your customers through, this, uh, through uh, that engagement. And because you didn't have that communication and that relationship, well, guess what? Of course, they're going to cut you because they don't know who you are. They just look at you as a line of expense on their, on their spreadsheet and they're going to kick you out for that, right? So understand that this is why this person was losing customers, right? And I sat there and said, well, you need to go back. You need to let people know. Those, some of these people you lost, you need to win some of them back. You need to go, hey, you know, I know you made the decision, but uh, maybe let's look at our options here or let's look at some ways in which we can help you uh, to move forward so you can, one, draw that revenue back and two, maybe open up other possibilities of shifting their strategy to invest in other things, right? So, so, so the, the communication part, most businesses are operating at the very bottom two of Maslow's hierarchy, not the three, the two. The, th the third rung is where they want to be. That's going to that's keep them in business and that's going to keep them growing in business. So number one, number one, personal health, right? They're all self-isolating, looking after their families, looking after themselves, right? Number two, security is where they're at. I've got to make sure, I, you know, how the hell am I going to stay in business? How am I going to be here in business? How am I going to make things happen in, in terms of uh, what I'm doing in the, in the marketplace, right? So, so, uh, so businesses need to, to uh, actually step up one rung. They've got to improve the way that they communicate. And right now, they've got the number one communication is they have to let people know that we're still in business and this is how we can help you in the current environment. This is how we've adapted to help you in the current environment. We're seeing it with our clients in break through the PT. They're going virtual consulting with their patients, virtual treatment with their patients. Uh, providing advisory for their patients, letting their patients in the community know that they're still uh, operating, they can still have inquiry, actually going out to the wider community in their market because they're advertising and promoting and letting people know that we haven't shut down our doors, we are still here for you in the market. And when we come back, this is going to be the mini boom that we need to be preparing for. Tim says it appears that our prospects will be flooded with uh, all of the digital marketing uh, scrambling uh, your points really help to separate us. Yes, thank you, uh, Tim. I appreciate that. So, if people are operating in uh, in the in that bottom two rung, there's there's three people in the market right now, and there's only two people that we want to speak to. There's one person in the business market that we just can't help, and this is a person in business right throughout the markets, right? So, the three the three people in the market. Uh, let's go to the ones that we don't want to work with. The ones we don't want to work with who's, are the ones who've given up. The ones who've shut shop, uh, pulled in, uh, completely retreated and shut their doors, 
there's a ton of businesses right now that have done that. They've literally just shut their doors and they, they are just, they have no idea how they're going to get back into the market. They're out. They are giving up. They are retracting, retrieving. They're pulling all the stuff in and they're going, I don't know. That's what they're saying. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no idea what's happening. Completely uncertain, right? These people, we can't help. They've already made a decision for themselves. Anything that you do is going to be something where they're looking at the cost of it. They're looking at, you know, well, how, is this going to work? How's this going to work? They're going to go into that mentality. So, that, so, you, so you're going to have to work too hard to actually help those people become very clear uh, in a position. I don't want to work with people who make it hard for me. And I want to mention you do not want to work with people who make it hard for you, right? So number one, the number one, uh, the, the, uh, they're in the bottom category, they're already out. They're the ones that have bridged the gap. Remember the mini skip story I, I told you just a moment ago? They're the ones that are bridging, the, the, that, are, that are taking advantage of that gap. They are the gap. They are leaving customers on the table right now because they're no longer, uh, uh, these businesses are not adapting and being able to help their current customers with their inquiry. So they're sitting there trying to figure it out. In most cases, they've given up. We cannot help the businesses that have panicked and given up, can't do it. No point, no point. Unless they are willing to listen very clearly and very carefully to the fact that they have to make some decisions and have to make some investment uh, in those decisions, they are right now almost unhelpable, right? So that's the third bottom rung. There's a second group of people who are sitting there going, um, I just want to ride this out, right? I want to see what happens. I want to ride this out. Um, those people, they're in, you know, in the next 18 months, two years, they're going to be out of business. Anybody trying to ride this out is pretty much going to be out of business, right? However, those people that are sitting there thinking, hey, we're in business, we just got to figure out how we do it differently. That is a market that we can help. We can help that second group in, in that line of I've got to hang in there, right? That is a market that we can help because they are also able to take advantage of the bridging gap of those that are dropping out of the market, right? And the third group of people is they're planning and strategizing and looking ways of doing this better and they're opening their eyes to the opportunity. And so they are open to listening to people who are bringing them opportunity, who are bringing them ideas, who are bringing them a plan. Everybody right now needs to plan about what they're doing. They need to figure out what's going on, what the impact of what's going on right now is, and where can they find the opportunity to be able to move forward. That's what we need to do as marketers. We need to do that. How does Facebook apply? How does AdWords apply? How does SEO apply? SEO right now, more important than ever, by the way. SEO, more important than ever right now, okay? Because people are freaking searching like crazy. You want to be in those maps right so that's the other thing so those two people the people who are who are sitting there going hey i need to stay in business i just don't know what to do but i'm going to be here right i've got to work through this or the other people are saying hey i want to really crush this because i know in my head that i'm seeing that there's going to be the upswing opportunity and the mini boom is going to happen in the next month to two months month to two months is going to be a mini boom the mini boom is people getting back to work that's the mini boom right now right now okay that's people getting back to work Money's going to be flooding back to the economy. The government stimulus packages are going to take hold, right? Um, um, uh, so that means there's cash coming in and people are going to be looking at where they can use that cash effectively, right? Right now. Right now, like I said before, people are buying fitness equipment. People are buying freaking Peloton sales have gone through the roof. People who are sitting there thinking survival mode, and they're, but at the same time, they go, you know what? Let's buy Peloton because we can ride and we can connect socially. Peloton is answering the question of some of the needs that people have, you know, social connection through exercise, uh, knowing that there's other people in the world who want to stay healthy and fit, uh, doing it in a fun way on a, on a bike. I can't think of anything worse, but anyway, um, or treadmills, right? Their sales through the roof, fitness equipment through the roof, right? There are lots of businesses right now that are thriving in this current economy, right? We've just got to, and those businesses, they need plans as well. They desperately need plans as well, right? So that's some, that's those two markets we want to uh, we want to serve. Um, any anything that, uh, by the way, just uh, want to check in. Um, is this uh, just type in two if this is being helpful? Just type in two if this is giving you some clarity and a bit of help in in understanding what's going on. Two, 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 awesome. Michael says, when your ship is uh, in a storm, you put your ship out to sea in the open ocean and you steer into the waves. Absolutely, two, we've got lots of twos, awesome. All right, so we, need, so we know that we have two audiences that we can help you. We can help those who are going, I wanna stay, I just don't know what to do. And then we've got those sitting there going, you know what, I'm going. I'm, I am 
actively looking at how we thrive through this opportunity. And let me tell you, in our world, in the agency world, regardless of whatever service you're offering, you are sitting in the sweet spot to solve these problems because they need you right now. They need your skills. If you are just starting out, think of the skills that you have. Think of the businesses that you've come from with those skills. How do those businesses right now, you know where the gaps are, you know what they need. You can go and offer your services to industries or businesses that you already have familiarity. In fact, that's what I would recommend that you do. If you have familiarity with industries and businesses that you know now, the Number one thing that I would do is I would highly recommend that you look at the list of those businesses and, and know what problems they're facing right now and go and solve those problems. That's your opportunity to generate revenue right now, right? With your familiar experience and familiar knowledge. If you've been in the game, you've been a freelancer and you've been able to get people results with what you do, then think of the clients that you've already served. Think of the clients who have already benefited from what you do and the results you've been able to achieve. And think of the message you have to come to those markets with uh, to actively engage those types of customers. Those who've got a team and you've got, a, you, you're, you've got a bit more experience and you're at another level of growth and another stage of growth, use your teams right now you know, in our team um, in, you know, we've not let a single person go. We've kept all our employees uh, uh, full-time uh, operating. Um, we actually are about to go hiring. Very sure, in fact, we are hiring right now uh, in our business in this time. But every single person in our company is dedicated towards reaching out and acquiring or opening the door to see how we can help as a business uh, people in the marketplace. Every person, administration, finance, sales, customer service, um, uh, marketing, everybody, everybody is now looking at wh what part they play or what role they play in actively engaging customers. One of the agencies I work with has got their entire team calling businesses in the local community with their strategy and saying, look, we're just introducing ourselves. Uh, we just want to know to let you know, one, we're open, two, we know things are going pear-shaped. We don't know what it's like for you right now, but if you need help with these sorts of things, uh, I'd like to just share something with you, um, but I want to thank you. Stay safe, be cool. Every person in the company, in that business, in that office is calling local businesses with that message, right? With that message and saying, hey, I know tough times, crazy stuff, lots of people coming at you here. Uh, we don't want to be one of the many in the, in the, out in the herd. We just want to let you know that we're trying to help people just like you. We've got some plans. We've been helping our existing customers uh, uh, exactly with these sorts of positions uh, to thrive. We're just introducing ourselves. We're going to send you something. If you're interested, we can engage. We will be following up to make sure you're okay. Um, but thanks for listening. And they're out, right? They're, every single person in that business, there are 15 of them that are calling 20 businesses a day each. 20 businesses. They sit there for an hour and bang it out, right? Introduce, send some information, uh, see what happens. Now, they've been doing that for four days, four days, and they've now been inundated with inquiries. For four days, 18 people have been doing that for four days. They are inundated. There are people coming back and saying, yeah, what do you do? How can you help us, right? Just by taking that form of help not being douchey, not being forceful, just saying, letting you know, this is what we do to help people just like you or where you're at. We don't know where you're at. We know it's, a, it's, a, it's crazy times and we know there's a lot of uncertainty, but we also know that you want to be in business. And so we're just letting you know that we're trying to help people to be, to stay and to thrive, right? And this is one of my consulting champions that are doing this right now. Inundated with inquiries, right? inundated with this proactive, every single person, right, in the business. So, um, there's a couple of things that you also need to take into consideration. And this is also going to be things that you want to be sharing with your clients. You're either going to be doing this, generating the same amount of revenue and adding more to your service, or you're going to be doing the same thing and providing it a less, lesser rate. Help your clients in this time of crisis, help your market in this times of crisis and show them your empathy of how you want to add more value or how you want to help them financially, right? Uh, to, to be able to hire you. So you're going to have to come up with some really simple packages, uh, packages, short-term thinking packages, not necessarily long-term. Unless you've got experience and you've got a long-term plan uh, with your market, with your clients, then yes. But right now, people need certainty in the short term. So your packages need to be punchy, right? Uh, Three-month packages, uh, the next 45 days, that sort of stuff, right? Things that you can do uh, to help them out. I would prefer you sell three to six months right now. We've got a lot of our champions that are selling 12 months, 12-month 12 programs, but they've got an actual structured plan uh, for that 12-month program, right? So, um, uh, um, what are we doing? So the message that is not working right now is go, let's get some customers or let's bring you some leads. That message isn't working. 
right? A lot of people out there saying, hey, let me go get you some leads, right? You need leads right now. Things are crazy. Let's get you some leads. That's not the message that's working right now. Uh, that, isn't, uh, that isn't working. Staying in business, being in business, that's working. Hey, at the end of the day, we, need to, we know that people need to look at plans and strategies and things to be in business and to stay in business. And right now, there's, there are opportunities for you to make sure that you maximize those two efforts on two levels. We need to make sure that customers who know you know that you're, that you're open and they can still buy from you. And we need to know, we need to also let people know in the market who are prospective customers right now that you are open and that they can buy from you and we need to look at creative ways of crafting our offers our incentives um, uh, what we do to deliver how we've pivoted how we can help them to make it easy to make those purchases if you're interested in a plan like that then let's have a chat about how we can solve some of those problems right that's the message that you will want to put out there that is at the 31 minute mark of our conversation. So timestamp 31 minutes on this video and you'll be able to get the video on YouTube or in uh, the Consulting Unleashed group, right? So 31 minutes, I've literally just given you the message, the script right there, okay? Um, uh, and, and the other thing is, is we are in a mini boom. So what's happened is there's been massive shock Lots of people having to address issues right now in the way that they work. They're coming out of it in week two, they're coming into week two uh, of the shock right? And now they're thinking, they're starting to settle a little bit and go, okay, what are we going to do? So again, um, my thing is, what are you doing to get back to work, right? What are you doing to get back to work? Because if you don't let people know that you're in business right now, right, you are going to suffer coming out when people get back to work, right? So what's your plan to let to one, you're in work right now, you're open, the doors are open, the lines are open, right? You've got the ability to deliver and serve your market. What are you doing right now to do that and what are you doing coming out into this mini boom there is a huge mini boom right now uh, that's happening and let me tell you this is why it's a mini boom remember i told you about the three people in business you've got the person at the bottom uh peter smith uh if you go to consulting unleashed video page you'll see them uh, see them there so uh yes they will be there they'll be uploaded if you're in the unleashed group they're going to be uploaded as well so um, uh, the thing that you've got to be taking into consideration now for this mini boom is what's happening is as people have dropped out of the market they're going to struggle to get back into business right now people who are trying to hold on and they're not really planning to be open like they're going to go open but it's going to be really quiet for them right and the people who are actively right now communicating that message and advertising and promoting they're the ones that are going to be the busiest in the marketplace so the question you can ask is you're out uh, um, uh, you want to make sure that you've got a, a ramp up into uh, what's going on if you're trying to figure out what you need to do. And if you're out there actively being aggressive, then what is your strategy to make sure that people are taking advantage of the gap? Because the gap right now is there are people that drop in the market and people are going to call these businesses and no one's going to be there. So they're going to, they're going to look for the next business. Where are they going to look, right? They're going to go to the most powerful computer in the world. They're going to go to Google search on their mobile phone. Right. If I can't get you, if you're not opening your doors, uh, if you're not ready to open your doors, or if you're not, if you don't have your doors open right now to be able to engage customers, you are out. You're going to miss out on the mini boom. So this is an opportunity to help people to engage with you in the marketplace. Uh, Peter says. Uh, okay, I'll look at, um, this is the ad. Uh, so I don't know what the ad is that you're posting to help businesses, business owners uh, keep their clients. Uh, I can't see your ad, uh, Peter, but uh, uh, the fact that you're advertising to do that, uh, again, I would test that out in the marketplace. Absolutely. So this is the gap. This is what we're trying to do right now. Mike, the plan is what are you doing to communicate that you're in business and you're open and you can handle client inquiries? That's the question we've got to ask. We're developing plans, you're developing plans to help people to communicate that message and more importantly, to craft offers that are relevant to where people are at. Right now, people are in that, in that, uh, that bottom three, right? So how does your product support the bottom three of Maslow's hierarchy? right right now with where they're at the safety the health the security and the belonging the social connection and the belonging how does your product help uh, uh in those areas now at the safety security you provide financial incentives or you can bundle or package you can give people more value 
uh, for the same money. So there are opportunities to, to meet people at that messaging, right? At the social connected connection uh, area, well, for businesses, they need to be connected to their customers. This is an opportunity for them to create a community for themselves, a tribe around their brand, around their messaging. This is an opportunity for them to become leaders in their marketplace, right? Uh, that, that, that is, that, that's an important thing, okay? So those two areas are where we need to be focusing on in terms of what we're doing. Your list, I'm looking for businesses who have lists. Number one, one of the questions I'm asking is, how many people do you have on your list right now? You know, if you've got at least a thousand people right now, you can do some business. You can actually generate some opportunities. We need to let people know that you're open on that list. We need to let people know that they can buy from you uh, a relevant offer that's gonna serve or help or support them right now, that provides an incentive to, to call you as opposed to go to a competitor. Uh, the idea is we wanna bridge that gap, right? Um, um, Pete, United, we stand until uh, you reopen. Stay engaged, stay connected, stay relevant with your clients. Uh, with the right communication plan, you can do that. Um, okay. Um, I think the United, we stand bit is uh, where you're talking. Um, you are talking to the connection uh, part of that, but I think that's a bit more global, a bit more macro. Uh, I think you need to personalize that message to where people are at. Rather than saying, um, uh, United we stand until you, until you reopen, you should be open. Right now, you need to be, right now, you need to make people aware that you're open, right? The number one thing in your business is you need to let people know that you're still in business. That's the message that we need to put in there. The United we stand thing is, an, is, is how do you relate that? How does your business relate to that? And in the, in the ad, you, you can't, convey that message unless you're running a really long copy right so for me it's like um and not until you reopen to me is how are you in business right now how are you being in business right now is where i'd be looking at for that communication yeah so our message or the best message you can do is right now be ready for the mini boom right uh right now how are you helping your clients uh and uh, know that they can still buy from you, that they can still uh, bring you cash into your business. What plans have you got in the place to make sure that people are aware that you're open? What incentives are you providing? How are you pivoting on, on your offers to make sure that you're maximizing your opportunity for conversion? Those are the sorts of things that you wanna be focused on right now in, in, uh, in business, right? So I wanna, I'm here for you, but I also wanna answer your questions. Um, um, uh, if you've got questions about niche, I can talk about niche. If you've got questions about how to engage people, I can talk about how you can engage people. Uh, if you've got questions about, um, about uh, how do you make sure that you're protecting your existing clients and keeping them on board, I will help you do that as well. So what can I help you with right now? If you have a direct question, I'm more than happy to help you. Um, Brian, uh, getting ready to run a campaign for a client. He's selling an item that is very in very high demand. Awesome. Uh, he has a small, limited supply. If it goes well, uh, I'd like to offer the same to other prospects in the niche, uh, but not sure given the item may be, may be not, uh, may not be available. 30 to 90 days back order from all distributors. Would you pursue this? Well, let's clear the stock. Yeah, if we can clear the stock, absolutely. And then we need to put a plan into place that helps customers say, hey, if you can wait, we're going to provide you with incentive. So if they have to wait for for 30 to 90 days for delivery, then you can provide an incentive for them to wait, right? Now, that doesn't mean a price incentive, that could be an offer incentive. If you decide to pay and wait uh, for the delivery in 30 days, we wanna help you out. Uh, but in that 30 day period, they've gotta actually have their communication uh, uh, with those clients. You wanna be making sure that they're communicating in that 30 or 90 day period of when clients wait. And by the way, customers will wait. And so what you might wanna put in place is you wanna perhaps put in um, the idea of little surprises along the way. Say, hey, letting you know that, you know, we're 14 days, um, here's something we found. And it might be information, it might be supportive things, those sorts of things that you can do. But Brian, I would run the campaign because they've got stock to clear and they need the cash. So they need the cash to be able to replenish their stock, clear out the, clear out the stock. And you can use the scarcity of saying, hey, we've got so much left. Yeah. Uh, re uh, drastically improving our chances of getting more stock. But if you want this now, you can get it now. So you can use the scarcity angle uh, of what's going on in terms of deliverability to the marketplace. So yes, Brian, to answer your question, I would run the campaign. Um, uh, uh, a lot of people here, Brandon Foster, Austin, uh, Chris, uh, Damien, uh, if you've any questions, I'm happy to answer. Um, Peter Smith, uh, the reason why I spoke about uh, until you reopen is because they are all closed till May the 1st. Okay, so they might be physically closed, 
but are they virtually closed? That's my question, Peter. Uh, can they ask some of them operating virtually? Because I cannot believe that the entire market has just left the market. Somebody in that market is doing business right now, right? So, and they're doing it in a way, they're either over communicating and letting people know what's gonna to come to the 1st of May right now, but a lot of people, some people in there, you know, the people are not sitting there Right, it is unrealistic, and I know some people are, but the majority of people are sitting there, folding their arms, going, "Shit, what am I going to do now?" Yeah, right. They're not all doing that. There are a lot of people thinking about what are my options here. Um, how can your customers, Peter, pivot into other services, uh, and how can they put those services out into the marketplace? So that's the thing that you, that's the thing. Those are the sorts of considerations. Um, uh, are there people, Peter, right now? They might not be in your local community or in communities, but are there people in the industry right now that are open for business in your market that you're going after? That's a question, right? And if they are, how are they doing business? Because that's the message you want to bring. Say, so, hey, right now there are people in your market that are growing that are generating business and they're making money, right? Uh, if you're not making money or generating business, maybe you'd like to see their plan. Uh, that's the thing that I would do, Peter. Brandon, engaging uh, remodelers right now, having trouble with coming up with a message. I feel that people are, uh, are worried about uh, having people in their home. Um, yes, they are worried about people having their home, but they can do, they, there are certain things that they can do virtually. Uh, um, and by the way, okay, so, uh, here's the other thing, Brandon. There's a lot of people out there with, with a lot of money and they're looking for deals. They're looking for deals and they're looking for deals when we come out of this. And we're talking about the next two to three months. We're talking next two to three months are critical for most businesses getting back into business. So the messaging is what have you got in, in plans right now? Because there are people right now that are looking for freaking remodeling. They're sitting there in their homes, self-isolating, going, you know what? That kitchen, I'm sick and tired of looking at that kitchen. I'm sick and tired of looking at that bathroom. I'm sick and tired of looking at the fact that we haven't got that home extension, you know? Um, and the other thing that remodelers can do is, mate, you know how much creative financing is out there right now that's coming, that's cash, uh, to get people to buy and, to be, and get people to spend? Uh, uh, show people where they can get some creative financing uh, to finance these works. There's lots of interest-free loans about to uh, launch into the marketplace. Uh, there's also um, uh, uh, buy now, pay later loans that are gonna come into the marketplace as well, where you don't have to incur. Now, for kitchens, uh, uh, those buy now, pay later normally were at the lower end of the market now those deals are going to be expanded in the larger end of the market so what are the what are some of the options one to finance how can they help their customers finance the deals how can they go say look you're sitting at home right now we're helping people who are sitting at home looking at kitchen plans if you've got a tape measure right and if you can give us some measurements we can do some schematics and some drawings to give you an idea of what's going on the remodeling market needs to pivot what they're doing. Everybody that's laying off in the remodeling market because of the whole uh, uh, distancing thing, right, is thinking the wrong way right now. I know people in the remodeling market who are doing okay. They've still got projects on the go. In fact, I know a remodeler has got tons of projects on the go, uh, but they just put the projects on pause, right, uh, until they can get back into those houses and work right? Uh, some remodelers are taking into consideration the self-isolation. Uh, they're putting method, they're putting in um, um, ways in which they can actually serve those customers in the marketplace as well. So Brandon, I hope that uh, answers your question. Um, anybody else got any questions right now? Anybody else like me to give you an angle on an offer uh, to a niche? Uh, what is the niche? Uh, what do you do? And let me uh, give you an angle. So what's the niche that you're going out after? What is the service that you're offering? offering let me give you an angle let me give you a strategy to go to the market if you want me to help you with that let's uh, let's do this right uh, people pay me a ton of money to do this in the real world um so pete new message uh you should be open now your clients should be engaged and we can go, yeah you should be right now you should so maybe rather than say you should be open let right now you need to let people know that you're open we're helping people take advantage of people out there who are engaging you in business. We've got a plan and a strategy we've been sharing and helping people generate uh, opportunities or generate sales and cash flow in this time of frustration of not being open, right? Um, uh, Tim, you pitched Omni uh, and PPC. That's great. Congratulations that you pitched Omni and PPC. Um, uh, 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 I don't know if that's a question. Um, uh, to me, PPC would be way better than, uh, well, Omni, if, you, if you're running ads right now, PPC to get things moving, to let people know that you're out there. And uh, if you're gonna marry it up with Omni, uh, using that as a retargeting strategy, yes, you can, you can uh, do that uh, in the marketplace. 
uh, they want to wait, they're uncertain. Well, the longer you wait, the more you're going to be out of business. The longer you wait, if you wait and do nothing right now, remember that second category I talked about, the wait and see, the wait and sees aren't going to be in business. You need to be proactive. Um, uh, we'll do the loan approach. Yeah, you can get loan. So by the way, all of you here, if you're in business and you're a registered business, if you're a PTY or TV, even if you're a sole trader or a solopreneur, uh, right now you have lots of government tax breaks available to you. Like you've got a lot of government tax breaks available to you. In Australia, we can, we can take up to $20,000 in our, in our 401k, in our superannuations in cash. We can draw that out uh, per person. Uh, we can, uh, we've got up to $25,000 in payroll taxes we can uh, cash in on. We're, uh, we're deferring our tax payments. We're providing $150,000 towards uh, equipment uh, that you can spend, that you can write off. Uh, there's, uh, you know, banks right now offering uh, interest-free <laughs> interest free loans. Um, the government is offering a two loan. Um, there's lots and lots of things in the stimulus package. So what I would highly recommend you do, because sometimes you're gonna to have to help your clients get some money. So go and find out what government incentives, if you're dealing at working in a niche market, go and find out what government incentives are supporting that niche market and make them aware of where they can get access to those funds or that help and support. Uh, this is a one way of you taking leadership and help into the marketplace. Where can they get access to money? Where can they get access to support? Where can they get access to funding and finance that is gonna see them through and see them beyond uh, this moment in time? So you can actually do that. Look at the funding and, and, uh, and uh, incentives that you are being provided with that you have opportunity to take advantage of uh, at a personal level and at a business level. You want to look at both. Um, there's lots of creative ways of doing that right now, right? Um, um, uh, so I, that's num number one. I would highly recommend that you go and do that, right? Um, uh, and number two, how is that relevant for your market? What are the incentives and offers are perhaps they're not even aware of that they could be taken advantage of and you're bringing that news to them? You're the person who is offering up something that is supportive and helpful. You're offering ideas. Damien, we're going to answer your question in just a second, right? So that's one thing we all, we all have access to. Every government on the planet right now is printing cash. And the reason they're printing cash is to bring cash back into the economy. And all that cash is going to go to services and products and things like that that people need to buy and want to buy. Right, so we need to be ready for that. That stimulus, those stimulus packages are going to be hitting in the next two to six, two to two months. The next two weeks to two months are when the majority of the first wave of economic stimulus packages that most governments are putting together are going to hit business uh, uh, in the market. That's why we're going to be heading for a little bit of a mini boom. Right, we're going to we're going to have a bit of a boost, and we need to be ready for that. You need to be aware of that. Right, so you need to be aware of the options. So Damien, um, you're asking anything specific on structuring stimulus into your offer. Um, uh, if, you, if you're talking government stimulus package, um, uh, now look, uh, what, are the, what are the grants? So you need, to, you need to look at the grants and what the grants are for. Right now, I know in Australia, in the Northern Territory, the Northern Territory government are providing businesses with a 10,000 towards building a website for their business. So the Northern Territory government in Australia is providing businesses, small businesses, $10,000 towards building a website for their business right now. Uh, we have one of our champions who is helping businesses uh, access that grant, uh, that $10,000 they can build a website for $10,000. How cool is that, right? So, so they're sitting and saying, hey, and by the way, most people's websites need a refresh right now. Most people's websites need to actually incorporate or talk about what the hell is going on and how they're helping their market and how they're pivoting their market. That's what they need right now. There's, you know, and thanks, Damien, for being on here. Uh, Damien's a founder of Globetel Marketing, and he has niche sites that they've developed at an incredibly cost-effective way to deliver to the market. So if your clients need to build landing pages that are relevant to the current circumstance of the marketplace, that's something that you can actually offer and say, listen, right now, your current uh, strategy of current communication might not be cutting it and you need an alternative way or a very fast way that you can pivot that and get sites up and running right in the marketplace and so one place I would go to to either go and meet other people over in David's business because he's built a solution to help people to pivot uh, very quickly in their communication by building their brand and their site uh, out of the marketplace. So that's something that um, um, uh, uh, something that might be worthwhile taking into consideration is look at your resource partners out there, the white label providers like Damien at Globatel. Uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of others out there in the marketplace that you can go to, IPPC, uh, uh, um, there's um, uh, a Hubshout, there's a whole bunch of people, right? Look at what they're providing and look at what 
uh, those things are in terms of being relevant to the marketplace. Um, uh, um, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, and those. And by the way, Damon just said, yeah, they're doing emergency websites in a week. That's that's amazing. Getting a site up and running in a week. Yeah. So thank you, Trent, saying that that's a great insight. I appreciate that. I've got about five minutes before I have to hop on to another call, another uh, uh, conversation. I'm happy to answer questions here. Uh, if you've had a takeaway from today, can you just type in the chat your biggest takeaway from this training today? Your biggest takeaway. Just so I know people can hear what the takeaways are so I can reiterate uh, what we're doing. So if you've been listening to me here, there's a whole bunch of you, I want to appreciate you. Um, uh, Peter says, stay relevant, awesome. Uh, what else? Biggest takeaway you've taken away from this that you can apply. Uh, prep for the mini boom. Yes, Damien, absolutely prep for the mini boom. Uh, that's where everybody here needs to be ready. Well, you need to, this is where you need to be engaging customers today is for this mini boom. Um, who else? What is the biggest takeaway that you've had from the session we've had today? Biggest takeaway. Prep for the mini boom. Reposition our offer. Yes, look for businesses that have lists. Absolutely, Tim. Look for businesses that have lists. They're the ones that need help. They're the ones that you can help with right now. Tomorrow, I'll talk about a methodology that I use to, to get uh, a huge engagement. Uh, so I am going to be on here. It is my Sunday. I'm doing this every day. So, uh, so uh, you know, I want to help as many people as possible. Um, any other takeaways from today? I'll just uh, uh, accept. Any other takeaways? Stimulus packages, zero interest loans, deferred payments, absolutely. How can you let your customers, prospects know that there are options for them uh, for funding and money to be investing in their business? That's what these things are for. The reason why these stimulus packages and offers are happening, by the way, this is, but you need to look at two levels, uh, three levels, right? You need to look at this at three levels. You've got to look at this at a federal level, what the federal government is doing, your federal government. You've got to look at this as a state level because your states actually have additional stimulus packages that are going and You've got to look at the local, the the uh, your county or your uh, your um, uh, district level, right? County district level. Each levels of government are providing stimulus and support. They know they need to do this. They are all communicating with each other in that marketplace. So there are things that your federal government is doing. There are things that your state government is doing. And there are things that your your city or your municipality or uh, or county uh, or suburban area, your district is doing. So you need to look at those opportunities. Uh, my takeaway is how, uh, how, to how to reshape our marketing message to meet businesses of where they're at today and try to help them out. Absolutely. Your message needs to be one of help. How can we help you? And we've got a, we've got a plan, right? Um, uh, help prospects get the funding uh, that's out there and then ensure that they spend it wisely with us. Yes. Absolutely. If you can help them get funding for a project, then, uh, then you're the one that's helping them with that idea. You know, uh, you know that's a, an amazing way. Um, so, uh, thank you for sharing. Um, I hope you've been finding these useful. Uh, like I said, we are putting these videos into the Consulting Unleashed YouTube channel. Um, uh, so, if you go to Consulting Unleashed YouTube channel uh, and uh, hit subscribe and hit notify, you'll be notified when these videos appear in your feed. Um, 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 uh, by the way, Howard says, no, the funding from the government is not taking weeks. In fact, it's taking days. Some of those funding options right now, in fact, in, the, in, the, in this next week, uh, the first round of incentives that are happening in Australia are taking, they're literally getting the money out in days. In fact, some of them are getting instantly. So, so no, they are looking at shortening the period of that funding. Uh, even on a personal level, they've doubled, they've doubled some funding uh, areas in the marketplace where they're getting access uh, straight away. Um, um, uh, there are, so look to local government. Look to where they can, where the earliest possible funding opportunities are. Trent. Um, uh, so there's this amazing website, Trent, that is hidden from the world that nobody seems to be able to find called Google. And if you Google your government websites, and I'll guarantee if you did search government stimulus package, government uh, local government stimulus package, uh, pick your state, pick your city. Um, I'm sure you're going to find what those packages are in Australia. If you go to mygov. Uh, my gov website in Australia, they actually have a web a page dedicated to uh, the uh, the COVID-19 stimulus package, uh, the economic stimulus package. There's a whole page and they tell you everything that's available. They give you all the links, all the application links, people you need to speak to. Uh, you need to be speaking to your accountants too. Your, your financial advisors, your accountants are the ones that know how to access uh, funds from the government as well. So those are things you want to be mindful of. So I'm going to ask you for one favour. Um, if you're not in the Consulting Alicia Facebook group, 
I would highly recommend you go ask to be put in. I will give you access uh, because I'm posting this video in there. Uh, if you are, uh, if you go to YouTube and go to Consulting on uh, Consulting Unleash YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe, hit the notification because you'll see the update of these videos coming in uh, to that feed. Um, I am not selling anything here. There is nothing that you can buy. There's no credit card. Your credit card is safe and your money is safe. I'm trying to help as many people who are in business right now, who are in our world, to take advantage uh, for uh, of what we can in the marketplace. I've been through five financial crises. I know what to do to stay, be in business and thrive in this business and thrive in this economy and market. And so if you are interested, I would highly encourage that you keep uh, uh, joining or keep coming uh, to these sessions. Uh, I'd like to ask you one small favor. If you are benefiting and you feel like you're at least getting some help uh, and some support here, if you can share uh, the link that you have uh, to get on here with others that you know who should be <coughs> um, uh, hopping on, I would much appreciate that. Uh, if you let people know about the YouTube channel, because right now there's a ton of YouTube videos on my YouTube channel too, by the way, that cover you know hundreds of different tactical things that you can apply proactively to go and generate clients. So there's a lot of practical things that you can do uh, uh, and access to. So if you can share that, that would be awesome. If you can let people know uh, if they want uh, this sort of help, uh, I am going to be hopping on here uh, uh, with this series to help people through this time to maximize their opportunity to be able to grow. So I want to say thank you all for being here. I really appreciate you hopping on. I hope that this has been helpful. I hope that you're getting a few ideas uh, that have been useful. I, in the coming uh, sessions, I'll be actually talking about uh, some more strategic uh, um, actionable items uh, although we have talked about some actual items here, but I'm going to be showing you some strategic things that you can do, uh, some communica communication, some messaging strategy, the problems that we need to solve in the marketplace. I'm going to be bringing that to you every single day. And this is an opportunity for you to ask me questions to be able to help you uh, to get some clarity and some focus as well. So I really appreciate you being here. I want to thank you. And if you can share uh, uh, this with others who you believe need help, uh, then uh, I appreciate uh, you doing that for me uh, uh, as part of this process. So be safe, stay safe, your family, make sure you're talking to people. One thing that I'm doing every day is reaching out to people I know, past and present contacts. And all I'm just saying is, hey, are you okay? Are you safe? Is everything okay? If you need to have a chat, I'd love to be able to hop on and have a chat. Uh, I've been able to reignite, rekindle some amazing conversations with some incredible people from around the world uh, just by doing that. So please stay safe. Uh, please be kind uh, in this time. Uh, please be focused, be optimistic. Um, uh, you know, take that approach of uh, being calm. Um, you know, and I know it's not easy in this time of, uh, of uh, what's going on, but clarity, assurance, leadership, and movement moving forward, that is what's going to get you through this. Uh, and let me tell you, there are so many of us out here that are going to be coming out through this time and out the other side of this. The, the, the gap of opportunity and what's happening that we, that has not happened just yet, but will happen, and it's starting to happen, um, uh, that is that is just going to make such a massive uh, opportunity. And some of us are going to be pivoting into some really interesting business models uh, in the coming months and the coming years. So with that, um, as I said, stay safe, be great. I will see you here tomorrow, same time, same back channel. Thanks everyone. Take care.